very open sound, very gritty sound, and uh, the the Black Lilies just did that uh, not too long ago. So check it out. It's on CMT.com uh, for that. So, But the Black Lilies on Facebook and on Twitter, and here is their brand new tune, Two Hearts Down, on Off the Beaten Path podcast with me, Ben Merritt. Follow us on Twitter. Twitter, Twitter, everything. At OTBP Podcast. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with Ben Merritt. And again, I am pushing to push more new artists. I want to get the word out about brand new country music artists, or in some cases, uh, not so brand new to country music and just unheard of. And that's the case of the gentleman that I've got on the line right now. I've got Mr. Jiggly Jones on the line. Jiggly, how you doing? Okay, Ben, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. And uh, Jiggly, uh... We'll get into this in a little bit because you've got one heck of a background on you, sir, but I have to start every interview as I always do, and I'm still trying to find a second question because I I don't want to give it away, but you may answer the second question in the answer for the first question. Are you ready? All right. Icebreaker question number one, where are you right now? I am at home in southeastern Pennsylvania. All righty. Well, Turns out right now you uh, have not answered question number two yet, so this will be easy and fun. 
Question number two, sir, question number two, sir, is what are you doing right now besides talking to me? Because we all know that you can do two things at once while you're talking on the phone. <laughs> well, I, I do more than two things at once, that's for sure, because I'm a parent. So um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, uh, I guess you would call it babysitting, even though some people don't think that that's the proper term for, for a parent to use. But uh, my wife's out of, out of the house right now, so... I have three little ones running around out there in the living room somewhere. Uh, I, I sort of got them watching a video, so well, that, that'll keep them quiet for a while. That should keep them distracted for at least the, uh, you know, the 15, 20 minutes that you and I will be chatting. So fingers right. crossed, you know, <laughs> if it goes really silent out there, that's when you have to worry, right? Right, right. Yeah. All parents know a little bit of noise is okay, but when it goes really quiet, <laughs> that's when you have to worry. So. All right, well, Jiggly, again, uh, you've got a very interesting backstory to you because you've been in the world of music for a long time, but you were a member of a, a musical group, correct? Uh, I've been in a few of them, actually. Well, there you go. And um, You know, that was, that was a while back. I actually took a hiatus from music for a few years. Um, you know, I, I pretty much burnt myself out uh, doing the band thing, and uh, I, I, I almost pretty much gave up on it and uh, my wife talked me back into it about six years ago when I started this project Jiggly Jones so uh, you know th th there was a few years where I just uh, let dust collect on my guitar so ooh, that, that's never a good thing to hear a musician do <laughs> like, well I'm back with a fury now so well good and I've, I've listened to uh, some of the stuff that you've got out now and I I really am digging it again it's um, it, dare I say that you got kind of a Dylan-esque feel to you I've heard that, you know, I, I've heard that, that's the second time I've heard that, so I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be mentioned in the same sentence with that guy. Yeah, it, it's kind of a big honor, especially in the world of country music and folk music and things like that, so right. um, and it, it's it's kind of interesting the way that you, uh, you know, you, you've been around a while before, you've had some, some pretty decent sized projects, you've done some work for uh, uh, soundtracks on TV shows, is that correct? Right, yeah, that was, uh, I was living up in New York City at the time. And uh, the band that I was playing in, uh, we just happened to know somebody at MTV. And, uh, you know, they would let us know whenever they were looking for soundtrack music, and we would submit it, and, and, and we got chosen a few times, and uh, that was really cool. Yeah, and some uh, some of the TV shows were like their their first, you know, their their first out the box uh, reality style TV shows that you guys right yeah right. I was I was a, I was a youngster back then, but it was pretty exciting. <laughs> I'm sure you were part of the the beginning of this new exciting genre that now everyone's tired of. <laughs> but that's, yeah, right. that's all right. No, we won't hold it against you, Jiggly. I promise. <laughs> all right. Uh, so again, obviously, as you were saying, you know, you've been in the business for a while. The name of the album kind of fits how you're. Is this how you feel in the music business now? Are you no spring chicken? That's exactly how I feel. I I, I find that, and not just me, I'm sure, that uh, the music business is is really trending towards younger and younger people. Um, I don't know if American Idol brought that around. I know they have an age limit on that show. But uh, so as a, sort of like a fun kind of sarcastic kind of a way of putting it, I, I, I titled the, the album No Spring Chicken, which is exactly what I am. So, But I, I believe I read a quote from you that uh, you're no longer 18, and thank God for that, right? <laughs> right. I don't know if I want to repeat those years over again. Yeah, and, and it always seems that you've got a, uh, a you know, you, you learn something as you grow older, and it, it definitely helps. Did you feel it helped with uh, with your musical process? Have you moved on from, you know, have you taken something from every group that you've been in or taken something from every year that you've lived? Absolutely. You can you can really cut corners by doing that. You've learned, and, and, and you've learned the hard way, and... Uh... And that's how you, you, you sift out the things you don't need to do. And uh, I took this project uh, by the horns and, and, and really uh, streamlined it and uh, put it together and demoed for a few years. This and that tried to develop the, the type of the, the genre that I was going to attack. And, uh, and uh, luckily, I've, I've, I've decided to go back to my roots. I mean, when I was really young, the music I listened to is exactly what I'm, I'm emulating now, basically. So... Um, and then as I got a little older, then I changed genres. I got a little maybe a, a little more aggressive when you're, you're in your teen years and your 20, early 20s and stuff. And uh, I, I've gotten away from that since then and I'm back to my roots again. So All right. Well, Jiggly, we're going to take a listen to one of the, the tracks off of the album. How about we take a listen to Baby Blue and then when we come back, you can tell us a little bit about that tune. All right? Okay.
track off of the album that is baby blue off the no spring chicken ep from this gentleman that i've got on the line mr jiggly jones jiggly how you doing i'm doing good all right sir tell us a little bit about that track we just listened to it now uh now explain some of the uh some of the lyrics okay uh th- that song was inspired by the birth of my son uh two and a half years ago uh so basically the song's two and a half years old um it 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 isn't necessarily about him in particular it's about it's about uh life uh birth the great feeling you get as a as a new parent um it's sort of a lullaby of sorts and uh you can picture the parent uh maybe rocking the baby to sleep and and telling them about life what they what they can expect and of course the baby doesn't understand what they're saying but for some reason parents do that anyway <laughs> but <laughs> so you know the lyrics sort of go along with that idea yeah, and it's it's a, it's a great tune. I'm really digging the. Uh, again, I I said it earlier, and I stand by it. It's kind of a you know you got the Dylan esque to it, you know, and I'm I'm sure Dylan probably wrote some tunes when Jacob was born and when all of his children were born. So again, right. it just keeps going with it. Right. All right. Well, Jiggly, this is the time of the interview when uh, we we you know we being a podcast, we uh we are living online. And now it's time for you to spread your online message and tell us how they get in touch with you on a daily basis. Jiggly, pimp yourself. Tell us what your Twitter is, your Facebook, however we can get in touch with you. Okay. I I always uh, do it the easy way, and I I direct everybody to my website because once you're there, you can branch out to all the different social media. 